Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be learning about the concept of kernel of a homomorphism. Kernel of a homomorphism that is an important subgroup of the group G, right? Uh, let's look at the definition of kernel. Kernel of homomorphism of a group G to a group G with identity is this set. X belongs to G such that phi of X is identity. So basically what we are saying here, we have two groups g and g bar right a mapping phi is defined from this group to this group right now we would say it would be a set of all the elements present here within this group g right such that they are mapping to a single element here which is the identity element for the group g bar correct so this is the definition so all these elements would consist constitute your kernel of the given mapping phi which is a homomorphism correct and we denote uh, this kernel of phi by writing capital K uh, in small er of phi correct phi represents the mapping and this ker represents kernel of this mapping okay now let's have look at some examples for kernel of a homomorphism right so for kernel of a homomorphism, uh, our first example here shows us that we already saw these examples when we were talking about homomorphism. Now let's discuss what are the kernels of these particular homomorphisms, right? So we have discussed that R star to be a group of non-zero real numbers under multiplication. Then the determinant mapping which uh, maps some matrix A to the matrix determinant A, this is a homomorphism, right? And uh, we say this is a homomorphism from the general linear group to the group of non-zero real numbers, right? The kernel of this mapping is the special linear group of order 2 consisting of all real entries, right? But how this is there, how this is the kernel of the determinant. Now for that, you should first of all be clear with these things that phi maps all the elements from this general linear group to R star, right? R star is non-zero real numbers and this consists of all two cross two matrices of order two, right? And having real entries, right? And the determinant here is non-zero. This is also there because then only you are able to calculate uh, the, de uh, the elements here, right? If the determinant is non-zero, then only your elements would lie in R star. Otherwise they would be lying in R, the set R the set of all the real numbers including 0. Now we have excluding 0 here, right? So here we are looking for such members. Uh, now this mapping, if you take A here, it will give you determinant A. Now we are looking for that member here such that it give you here the identity. What is the identity element here? It is 1. So that means we are looking for that particular X such that determinant x is equal to 1. Now this is possible whenever we are there in the special linear group, right? Because in special linear group, we have the determinant of all the matrices as equal to 1, right? That is what I have written. The identity is 1 under multiplication of this group R star, right? Therefore, for kernel, we are looking for those matrices in GL2R, which are mapped to the member 1, correct? Hence, uh, we are looking for those matrices whose determinant is 1 and clearly the matrices are present in this special linear group of order 2 with entries from real numbers, right? This is our first example. Moving forward, let's see our example 2 here. We have phi mapping from this uh, set R star to R star, right? The set of all non-zero real numbers and here the set is defined like this. Phi of x is equal to mod of x. Correct. So it is mapping all the members, all the real numbers to their positive counterparts. Right. So here, you know, what is the identity here for this group? The identity is one. So when will you get one? What will be the value of one? If you have mod x is equals to one, then x should either be equal to minus one or plus one. Only these two possibilities are there. Hence our kernel is only uh, this, which consists of two entries, minus one and plus one. Similarly, for our third example here, uh, we consist of Rx to be the group of all polynomials with real coefficients under addition, right? Now we have our mapping uh, phi, right, mapping phi, 
such that it is starting from the set of Uh, the uh, the group of all polynomials with real coefficients to the group of all polynomial with real coefficients such that phi of some polynomial f of x is equal to f dash x right where f dash x is the derivative of the polynomial f now what is the identity polynomial in rx first of all you need to identify that we have a group operation as addition so obviously the identity polynomial would be 0 uh, right 0 0 plus 0 x plus 0 x square and so on which is a zero polynomial so therefore now you know we have the identity polynomial so for kernel we are looking for all those polynomial f of x such that it is equal to the zero polynomial correct so you know Uh, what is the definition so we are looking for all those polynomials such that the derivative is zero polynomial correct now do you know for what polynomials you have zero polynomial yes it is uh, for constant polynomials we have the derivative as equal to zero polynomial correct hence our kernel becomes the set of all constant polynomials of such kind because the derivative of constant polynomials that forms a zero polynomial which is the identity element of r of x which was required correct so i hope you understood these examples in the next video we'll be continuing with more examples of the same kind well that is it for this video thank you for watching